Hello YouTube, Gaming Goddess here doing a review on Dot Hack GU Volume 1 Rebirth, a single player action role playing game for the PlayStation 2 developed by CyberConnect and published by Bandai. Just like previous Dot Hack games, GU simulates a massive multiplayer online role playing game where the player takes control of a character who is playing the online game known as The World. Our protagonist of this game goes by the name of Haseo and our main goal is to hunt down Triage, a mysterious player who goes around PKing his victims into a coma. With that being said, let's get into the review. The first couple of Simple hours of gameplay is basically a tutorial and altars. introduction to the game's main story. Overall, the gameplay itself is pretty simple to understand in my opinion and is not very different from the previous Dot Hat game. While we are in the world, we have our root towns as well as the field and dungeons to explore. The town has a variety of shops as well as a place for a guild and even portals that'll teleport you from one side of the town to the other. This is pretty convenient for the size of the main town in this game. First, there is one shop in this game that I found to be one of the newer features added to this game. It is the quest shop. This is where we can accept quests from NPCs. Most quests require a party of three, but there are few exceptions where Haseo can tackle a quest on his own. This is a great way to level up and to get rare items. Next, we can place items for sale, in storage, or we can do alchemy to enhance our weapons all in one place. That would be the guild at home. This is also an interesting feature. We didn't have a guild in the previous game, but here we are the leader of one. This really takes on the MMO elements in my opinion. And of course, all towns feature a chaos gate. This portal allows us to travel between servers as well as granting us access to the fields and or dungeons. Finally, we have the desktop view where the player can view the in-game emails as well as forums about the world and the news from real life stuff that is happening as you progress through the game. Of course, searching through the forums, you can find area words as well as background images. Some of the forums will even let Haseo respond to them. Reading the forums in this game isn't for everyone because they can be long sometimes. And, well, let's face it, you just want the keywords and you want to go check out the area, right? For me personally, I like going through a lot of the texts in these types of games. It's really interesting seeing all the different things that the NPCs talk about and it makes it feel like an MMO. Moving on to the battle system. Players can attack monsters in a real-time battle, however, the action is paused whenever we open up the menu to cast a spell, to use items, or to use skills. The player can only control Haseo, while the other two characters are controlled by an AI, though the player can provide some type of strategy for specific characters. I remember playing the original Dot .hat games, and every time I would have a character healing, I would have to set it each and every time I would party with that character. Here, once a character is marked as a healer, they will stay that way throughout the game unless you physically change it to something else. Monsters roam around freely. They can be found guarding treasure chests. This game gives you an opportunity to perform a surprise attack. If you are noticed by a monster, then the battle will commence without the surprise attack option. While fighting, a time gauge above Hector's head indicates when he is ready to use his skills. When a monster is under a certain physical condition, the player can use the triggered skills to perform an enhanced skill called Rangeki. This type of skill is a lot stronger than the normal skills, and it will also raise the party's moral gauge. This game features some plot-related battles, known as avatar battles. These types of battles were probably the most challenging for me. They look simple, and the way they explain it in the game sounds simple, but actually doing it took some time to get used to. So that pretty much covers the gameplay. Now let's talk about the graphics. And of course, this game has the anime CG style that I love ever so much. But to be honest, there are moments when the animation lags during actual gameplay. The cutscenes on the other hand are all super smooth. This game definitely has a lot of cutscenes, hey as I'll well as news footage from the outside world that are played After in short clips huge that actually look like an anime, and Japan's it's really amazing for a PlayStation 2 game like this so one. As for the audio in this game, there's a lot of sad sounding songs, but at least each dungeon and each scene has something different playing in the background. This is not a fully voiced game, but the voice acting is good. Some of the lines are pretty cliche and pretty cheesy in my opinion. Oh, 
and Haseo yells a lot in this game, so just be prepared. Now let's take a look at the pros and cons. First, the pros. The gameplay feels well balanced, we have tons of possibilities for area words where we can level up, as well as quests. We get a really cool bike, the story as of now has been pretty good, sad but nice music, and lots of cutscenes. As for the cons, this game will lag in certain areas, Haseo is definitely running on dial-up. But other than that, there weren't any major cons about this game. Overall, Dothack GU Volume 1 Rebirth is a great introduction to the game's story as well as having some really cool features that weren't in the original Dothack games. Now yes, this is the same Haseo from the Dothack Root anime series. At the time this game came out in Japan, a company called B-Train actually produced Dothack Roots. The anime tells the story of Haseo's first days in the world that leads to the events in this game. So characters from the series can be seen in this game as well. This game definitely had a lot more features added to it, a lot more cutscenes, and of course a well-rounded story that really makes you want to dive into it deeper and find out what will happen at the end. With that being said, Dot Hack GU Volume 1 Rebirth gets an overall score of 8 out of 10. It's challenging enough as well as interesting enough to keep me playing. This has been a Gaming Goddess review. Leave a like if you like this video and tell me what you think in the comments below. And remember to keep on gaming. In front of one epitaph, only a small idol, a small truth will appear.